Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this MediaCoos LED desk lamp. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So if we look on the back, it says the input is AC 100 to 240 volts, 50, 60 hertz. The output is 12 volts at 0.95 amps. The power is 11.4 watts max. Color temperature is 2700 to 5700 K. Lifetime is 50,000 hours. So let's get this opened up. Here we have a user manual. So here's a product diagram. We have a swivel at the base that's 360 degrees. Then we have three pivots and a swivel at the light head, and those are all 200 degrees. We have a color temperature adjustment and a switch and dimming. And here are some more specs here. The lumens is 650. So this has a gesture sensing mode, so you can wave your hand over it to turn it on and off. So to turn it on, you wanna give it a short press. To turn it off, you give it a long press. When it's on, you can touch the power button for four levels of dimming. You have 25, 50, 75, and 100%. Then we have the color temperature adjustment and that's 3000, 4000, 4800 and 5500 Kelvin. So this is about the gesture sensing. So it's turned off by default. So when the lamp is off, you want to hold down the color button for about three seconds to turn it on. And then you can use the gesture sensing and then to turn it off when the light is off, you want to do the same thing. Hold it down for three seconds and that will turn that off. Here's some precautions here. Okay, let's take a look at this. Here's the power adapter. The length of the power cable is right around six feet. Pull the lamp out of here. So I'll plug this into power. I'll plug that in back here. And now it's powered. So to turn it on, we'll press the power button. We can hold it down to turn it off. Okay, press it again. We can tap this to change the brightness. Then we have the color temperature. We'll tap this. It's kind of hard to see different color temperatures on camera. So this is a warmer, this is a cooler. This is, I think, um, more of a white color. Let's turn this off. Then I'll hold down the color temperature button for three seconds. And that should turn on the gesture sensing. So if I wave my hand over this, it's turning it on and off. So I'll hold that down again to turn it back off. And that should be off now. Okay, so I just wanted to demonstrate that before I clamp it down because it might be easier. But here we have a clamp. So it has foam on the bottom here, has foam here and rubber on the clamp part. Okay, so when I opened this all the way up, the threading came out a little bit. So it does need to be threaded a little bit. And then this clamp opens up to, it's kind of hard to see exactly, it looks like just under two inches. So I'm going to clamp this to my bench. It's an inch and a half. So I'm clamping this to the front of my bench for demonstration purposes. Needless to say, most of the time you would clamp this to the back or side of a table. Okay, that's very secure. So now I can position this. So this will rotate 360 degrees. We have the 200 degree here. So I'm kind of running out of room with my light. Let me switch this around. Okay, so you can see there's an angle here. I don't know if I can do that more. Let me. So this is the angle we're at here. It's kind of hard to see on camera. Let me pull this down. So you can see from a different angle where that's at. Then I can go all the way back this way too. So we have similar articulation on these two pivots. So this can go down. It's a challenge to show this on video because I can really move it around a lot. So this can go down this far. You can't make these two flush with each other because of this pivot, but you can bring it down right up to it. And then this will pivot like so. This one you can butt it up against that. So you could put this straight up in the air and have this directly down. And then this pivots like so. So this light has a tremendous amount of articulation to it. So you could put this in front of some artwork. You could put this directly in front of a monitor. And this has polarized light, so it's made to not glare off the monitor. So let's turn this on here. So I'm going to go turn off my overhead light so we can see how bright this is. Okay, so I'm going to turn this around. It's obviously not how you'd normally use it, but... So here I have the instructions here. This is very bright right now, so I can easily read this. I'll tap this until it's dimmer. So even on the dim mode, it's very easy to read. It's plenty bright. Of course, we can shut that off. We can turn on the gesture mode, and then we can just wave our hand in front of it to turn it on and off. 
So that's a really nice feature. If you have this in a dark place and you generally know where the lamp is, you can just wave your hand and it will turn it on or off. You do have to have, be relatively close to it, but you don't have to touch a specific exact spot on the lamp. I'll switch to the color temperatures here a little bit too. I don't know if these will come out very well, but so these are the different color temperatures. You can kind of see that got a little bit dimmer there. That was more of the softer light. So this is a soft light here. This is a cool light. And this is more of a white light. I really like the white light. So that's the Mediacus LED desk lamp. I really like the modern look of this. It's very clean. Everything's enclosed on this arm here, so there are no wires sticking out. You just have the wire at the base. And if this was behind a desk, you could run that down behind. You'd barely see it. But the rest of it's very clean. It has very good articulation on it. So you can position this exactly how you want. And it holds when you get it there. I found this very easy to use with just two buttons, so you can easily adjust the brightness and the color temperature, and I think that gesture mode is really nice too. There are certain areas, like if you had this in a workshop and maybe you have dirty hands, that gesture control would be really nice because you could turn the light on without touching it. So if you have a studio or a shop where you're doing painting or other artwork where you have dirty hands, that gesture mode would be the way to go. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time. Goodbye.